it is sometimes said that we are not given a good life or a bad life we are given a life it's up to us to make it good or bad today as you can see the topic the first thousand days of life why have i taken this topic or what is the importance of this topic will be discussing that and really as the court says that it's up to us how can we make our life a good one and a bad one because we are really determined whether we'll be having a good life or a bad life Welcome to Educators myself Manishta Chatterjee today we'll be discussing on a very very important topic of nutrition the first 1000 days of life what is this first 1000 days of life about which days are the first 1000 days of life it is the beginning at the time of the conception that is the 270 days of the pregnancy the 365 days of the after the birth that is the first year and the 365 days at the second year so if you total this up this sum sum this up will get the first 1000 days that is the beginning at the time of the conception of a baby to the baby's second birthday now you might be asking that this topic is not there in our syllabus yes definitely this topic the first 1000 days of life is not there in your syllabus but when we are reading about the pregnant ladies we are reading about the nursing mothers we are reading about the infancy we must know about the first 1000 days of life and its importance so that's why i thought of talking up this top topic and discuss this in the channel so why do we need to focus on these first 1000 days like as i said that it consists of the 270 days of the pregnancy the first year which is comprising of the breast feeding months and also the complete complementary feeding months and when the baby is going to the regular diet those months and that is the time when we need to give the baby a better nutrition which will actually help to maintain the child's future and the cycle of poverty that was going on the poverty and the malnutrition cycle the vicious cycle of malnutrition which was going on it will help to break the cycle too so the first 1000 days baby need healthy food loving relationships safety and security a playing environment and also a healthy environment including the womb that means when we are talking about the womb it means the mother health as well so we need to include the mother health the mother safety and the mother security as well so it has been seen that globally 149 million children under the age of 5 are developmentally stunted why because the reason is seen that during the first 1000 days that means i the either during the pregnancy period of the mother or during the breastfeeding period or the complementary feeding or the last one year they are not having enough food or they are not having good 
quality of food and good quantity of food resulting in chronic malnutrition which is actually resulting in the stunting. So the first thousand days if we can focus on these first thousand days of the nutrition of the child and the mother who is actually holding the child in her womb and is later on feeding the child with the breast milk to impact on the future health and potential. If adequate nutrition can be given, there can be proper brain development and also uh, an overall physical development. And if on the other way around, proper nutrition for the mother, proper nutrition for the child is not given, then the development, physical and psychological um, brain development, physical growth is stunted and all the development slows down. Now, when a, a, a lady or a woman get gets pregnant everybody in the home everybody uh, just think about the diet of the mother diet of the mother they rush to the maybe the doctor they talk to the doctor they talk about the different supplementation but when the mother is planning of being pregnant or planning for pregnancy whether the mother is ready or not we need to check that too because most of the women are working to today and they are under a lot of pressure maybe working pressure a lot of stress going on with them so we have to see whether the mother who is planning of pregnancy or having a baby is either ready or not so what do we need to check first first we need to discuss with the lady and her spouse to set a goal like how many children they want and really when they want to be pregnant like a proper counseling sort of thing has to be done with the preg with the woman who wants to be pregnant or can be done with the lady who wants to be married like a pregnancy should not be a decision under peer pressure or under parental pressure like the women is not ready the women's health condition is not okay maybe the women is under mental pressure too much of work pressure workload and the women is not ready to be pregnant but under peer pressure, under parental pressure, the woman is being pregnant. So in that case also, the child may suffer and the mother may suffer too. So when, the, uh, when a girl is planning to get married or a woman is trying to be, uh, is, uh, wants to be a mother, or planning of pregnancy then they must talk to each other or they must go to a person who can actually talk about the plan with the spouse and the lady it is better to avoid pregnancy before the girl is 18 years old for the better nourishment of the child the minimum gap between two child should be at least two years. Because a person, a woman must arrange all the necessary resources for the arrival of the little one. So once the body is prepared for the little one, they should go forward for the next one. Not only physical uh, support, but also whether the spouse and the lady is financially, mentally, emotionally ready or not.
that is also very important like with different in different cases it has been seen that there is no age gap between two children and they are having excessive uh, poverty which leads to Z, uh, which leads to uh, excessive amount of hunger and the mother can't uh, can't be fed properly the child can't be fed properly too many mouths to be fed so the mother should go should be prepared along with the spouse mentally physically emotionally and financially too that is very very important they should go undergo a holistic checkup health checkup and also maintain a healthy diet lifestyle and behaviors as we all know that anemia or the iron deficiency is a great problem for every woman almost so that has to be checked that has to be taken care of before going to be pregnant so if it is less than 12 gram per deciliter consultation has to be done so before being pregnant we must be ready with the irons folic acid supplements vitamin d supplements and also vaccinations and we have to be mentally physically emotionally and financially ready for the to welcome the child to welcome a new member in our family that is very very important so i'll say that before the 1000 days of life there is another few days or few months of time when the child when the mother with her spouse needs to discuss plan for pregnancy that's a very very important point now what should be like now the mother is pregnant after consulting everything now what should be the diet of the mother it is very very important so as we are learning the pregnancy we have done the complications during pregnancy we have done the changes of a pregnant lady we'll be uh, doing the diet diet chart for a pregnant lady in detail just uh, whereabouts of what a pregnant lady should have this much of grains about 36 persons proteins dairies fruits vegetables so right nutrition has to be taken by the mother properly so that it can be given to the child because the mother now is eating for two so nine portions of cereals and millets 30 grams each 3.5 portions of vegetables 100 gram each two portions fruits 100 gram each five portions of milk 100 gram each two portions of pulses and one portions of non veg if the mother is a non veg in case of veg three portions of pulses sugar four persons portions 50 gram 5 grams each sorry 5 grams each and fi uh, five portions for fats and oils 5 gram each so food must be there a balanced diet must be there during this time the 270 days first 270 days from the vegetable group dairy group cereal group fruit group and protein group because this period of time is the critical time a critical time for the child to gain proper nutrition only through the mother the child is completely dependent on the mother to get the complete nutrition so we need to maintain proper nutrition to ensure the child's healthy development for the future
after the pregnancy period the breastfeeding period the breastfeeding times according to who exclusive breastfeeding for 6 months has to be given what are the benefits of this breastfeeding for mom it burns the extra calorie taken it lower lower the chances of the type 2 diabetes mellitus the blood pressure and also the heart diseases lowers the risk of breast cancers and the ovarian cancers and it releases the oxytocin that causes the uterus to contract which decrease the amount of bleeding due, which is which has been uh, which was there during the parturition and for baby breast milk has the right amount of fat sugar water protein minerals which is required for the baby's growth it is definitely easier to digest for the baby and a, a baby who drinks breast milk has a less constipation problem more antibodies which helps the babies to fight with infections diarrhea respiratory illnesses and allergies there are lower risk of sudden infant death syndromes and also it deals with the short term and the long term health problems so what should a mother be given during this time when the mother is feeding her baby calcium rich foods which we get from these sources iron rich food omega 3 fatty acids in walnuts flax seeds pumpkin seeds soy fish vitamin d which is very essential and proteins must be there in the in the food list of the breastfeeding mothers after 6 months of exclusive breastfeeding breastfeeding should be continued along with some complementary feeding what is the use of this complementary feeding because this con the breastfeeding should be con continued till 2 years where after 6 months solid food should be introduced okay so that the baby should move towards an adult diet in a proper manner and also it can address the micronutrient deficiency and gap or the energy gap that can take place after 6 months of age complementary feeding also develop the baby's food preference so we need to introduce one food at a time to the baby that will also help us to understand if the baby is having any kind of allergy to any kind of food and also it will help us to understand the right taste and texture of a particular type of food that the baby like slowly the baby will start accepting the different types of food will not give every food at one time will give slowly slowly different types of food and the togetherness that they'll have that means the baby will sit with everyone and eat that will develop the bonding so basically the complementary feeding has four pillars to ensure the optimal nutrition like right time frequency timely that means along with the breast milk timely introduction of the complementary feeding weaning that we say is very important that will actually balance the micronutrient deficiencies and the energy deficiencies in right amount depending on the requirement of the child in appropriate manner like slowly slowly how we will be giving there will be diversity in the texture in the color in the flavor and as i said 
different food groups will be tried in a safe condition or in a hygienic manner because that is what it is must is it is of utmost importance so first stage 1 we must give purees and soft finger foods will help the babies to hold or grasp that finger foods this grasping or holding holding the spoon will help them to achieve or attend their milestones as well after that when the purees and the soft finger foods are introduced and the baby is used to it then we will introduce the mashed foods with lumps and family meals and finger foods again over here you can see we are eating together with the baby to give the company so that the togetherness the bonding is formed certain kind of vegetables and fruits can be given to the babies like uh, green leafy vegetables can be given green leafy vegetables can be introduced like the spinach can be given in the form of khichdi maybe a soft porridge kind of a thing khichdi you can make and you can introduce that when you are you, when you are giving mashed foods with lumps carrots can be given sweet potatoes can be given pumpkin can be given bananas is a very good option guavas mangoes guava also help like the teething type kind of a food because the gums need to be uh, you know stronger also <laughs> custard apple mud apple these can be introduced to the baby along with that eggs fish can be given fish of course deboned eggs first the egg yolk has to be given mashed and then the whole egg can be given introduced to the child now coming to so these were the steps like how to introduce when to introduce why to introduce the right kind of food why breast milk has to be given why good nutrients has to be given to the mother now the microbiome now what is this microbiome that's the gut that is formed the colonization in the gut of the child that is very important why are we focusing on pregnancy diet why are we talking about the lactating mother the diet of the lactating mother why are we talking about the com uh, the complementary foods because we need to prepare the baby's gut if the baby's gut is healthy the baby is healthy too colonization is something which which occurs within this first 2 years of life that is within this 1000 Day, thousand days of life and it determines almost everything in our body related to gut so sometimes what happens the exposure in the ut uterus occurs with the, with the bacteria from the mother's intestine the colonized bacteria they pass through the placenta into the amno uh, amniotic uh, sorry amniotic fluid and major colonization occurs during the type of time of delivery either when the baby is passing through the birth canal or during the cesarean section but definitely the colonization pattern is different for the different types of delivery delivery type why because it is said that when the mother is actually pushing out the baby during the normal delivery or the uh, when the baby is coming out through the birth canal every the uh, the mother is trying to put in everything every colonized bacteria to the child which is sometimes missing in case of a cesarean section colonization is further affected like that can also be met 
if the colonize if the proper if the proper type of diet is given and weaning is started on time but if the weaning is not started on time the colonization is further affected so if breast milk is not given and if formula milk is given because a lot of uh, what i'll say a lot of uh, immunity factors come comes out uh, uh, with the help of the breast milk and when the baby is child is breastfed the child gets everything but if the child is having formula milk on the other hand the child does not get all these things so colonization or how the bacteria is are formed the importance how they will do the development uh, the developmental functions how this bacteria will uh, perform the uh, metabolic functions in the body how they are formed depends on how they have been coming from the mother whether they are having the breast milk or not all these factors determine so the microbiome within this first 1000 days is very 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 important factor which determines the health of the child throughout the life so these provides protective metabolites antibacterial substances to the body throughout the life if the proper colonized bacteria a pattern is the child is getting from the mother through the proper birth canal or through the cesarean through during its birth or during the breast milk and thereafter forming a unique sign uh, unique signatures of bi billions of like a normal uni uh, unique uh, you know signatures of billion colonization uh, bacteria forming unique structure forming within the child that is very very important so the microbiome formation is very very important so that's why focus on the first 1000 days focus on the diet of the pregnant mother focus on the diet of the lactating mother focus on the weaning diet of the child is very very important so if there is imbalances in the gut microbiota then there is asthma allergy infection obesity and metabolic disorders there is infantile colic gastrointestinal disorders ibds and also there are there can be autism spectrum disorders as well so that means if we can conclude this part we can say the a healthy gut results to a healthy child so that is very very important so why is gut by microbiota important because a healthy gut microbiota contains a balanced con composition of many classes of bacteria which will help in promoting the health functions of your body throughout the life and that is formed during this first 1000 days of your life now like the microbiome brain development is another very important section of our life most brain rapid brain growth takes place in the last trimester of pregnancy and the first two years of life like human uh, brain at 5 months of like post conception over here the picture is not there of 5 months it's somewhat like a coffee bean i i hope you have seen a coffee beans look like this okay so somewhat like coffee bean very simple there is no uh, you know mm, crimps nothing is there just like a coffee bean by 9 months like that is uh, during the term birth it has this gyri this is the gyri and also the sulk sulky 
okay or the lateral sulcus over here you can see the turns and the gyres over here you can see these are formed week 38 so like this they are formed now why they are formed at or what is the importance of this because they actually are the indicative of the significant complexity that means our brain can now answer to the can start thinking in a complex manner too and from that coffee type of a structure now the brain is looking like a walnut kind of a thing like an adult brain and at term at time of the birth areas like the hippocampus and all the visual and the uh, you know auditory cortices they are also formed or they develop now what happens in the first postnatal year first postnatal year there is rapid growth of the language which helps in the processing and early development of the prefrontal cortex and this prefrontal cortex over here you can see the frontal lobe so this prefrontal cortex they helps in the controlling of attention inhibition and flexibility which are very important for the different brain work we can say that we do in our future life the complex thinking the flexible thinking the attention and the different kind of inhibition that is always done and that formation is done during the first thousand days of the life so what happened during this time there is rapid rate of neuron uh, neuronal poly, proliferations there is growth and differentiation excessive myelination uh, and also synaptogenesis that is excessive connectivity is there so if there is we if there we can ensure good development normal development great development through proper brain diet of the mother of the lact of the pregnant mother of the lactating mother and the proper weaning diet that means the first thousand days focusing on the first thousand days we can actually save a child from the brain vulnerability that can happen due to any nutrient deficiencies so what are the nutrients that is required that has to be given by a, a nutritionist during this time protein pufa that is polyunsaturated fatty acid iron zinc copper iodine choline folate vitamin a b6 and b12 must be given and of these iron is necess necessity at the adequate level to ensure full developmental process so we must ensure a diet to the pregnant woman to the lactating mother and also to the child to the infant during its in a uh, weaning period which has all these nutrients in the diet so by age 3 a toddler's brain is 80% grown it will help if if there is a proper nutrition it will help to fight 10 times more over the life threatening childhood diseases by 2 years the vocabulary reaches 50 to 100 words it will help in that it will help in continuing the education maintaining the iq level 
and also definitely if the IQ is more the lifetime achievements will be more and what happens if there is improper nutrition there is non-optimal brain development that is a short term that leads to decline in cognitive development and education there is non-optimal physical development that in long term leads to stunting and there is non-optimal organ development metabolic organ development that leads to hypertension diabetes obesity heart diseases and stroke in the adult so if we consider a baby's brain development for 0 to 2 months during this time for feeling seeing hearing eating and crying babies need proper food for 2 to 6 months baby need to see better and begin begin to touch things on purpose and babbling begins 6 to 12 months to socialize with their names to pick and choose different kinds of books different words from age 1 to age 2 the different vocabularies self awareness memory recall empathy and to support all these growth proper food balanced food with the nutrients said uh, in the previous slides has to be given to the pregnant mother carrying the baby to the lactating mother feeding the baby to the infant who is giving the supplementary feeding during the first thousand days of life so what we can give eggs lean meat seafood the nutrients that I was talking so these are the different food sources some pictures I have added poultry potatoes fish meat egg these are very very important spinach carrots tomatoes green leafy vegetables iodine fish these has to be given in the diet of the child now when I started my presentation today I talked about the psychological aspect also, the care of the child as well, the care of the mother as well. So do you think that if a pregnant mother is under stress, is under trauma, that will affect the child? Do you think that the safety and security of the pregnant mother is important for the development of the child? Yes. If during pregnancy there is a lot of stress the baby's nervous system the baby's growth can be affected leading to heart diseases high blood pressure obesity and diabetes in the future life so during pregnancy or when we are planning as well during the planning phase as well the mother must be free from all stress all trauma and that has to be that's why i told you that the spouse has to be there the counseling has to be done psychological counseling has to be done of both the father and the mother before they are planning for a baby because that support is needed that psychological help is needed otherwise if the mother is at stress and trauma that will definitely affect the child. Loving, secure relationship is very much de de uh, needed for the child as well. The, the baby's communication with the mother, how they are emotionally uh, behaving with the mother, with the child, is very, very important to make the child or to help the child to be in its place in a society. To make or make him or her fit for the society because we all are social beings and society is such a place where we have to be accepted 
where society has to be accepting us so child has to be prepared the mentality the psychologically and emotionally for the society with love care and secure relationship to conclude we can say that the first 1000 days refers to a child's life for the moment of conception till 24 24 months that is 2 years of age and the baby's experience in the first day, 1000 days of life can have a lifelong effect on their health and well-being that is very important stress trauma poverty and violence experienced during the first 1000 days can have a long term effect adverse health effect on the baby and also the caregivers and it is always important to provide your baby with good nutrition safety security loving home environment especially during the first 1000 days but i will say throughout their life they need it so that's all for today i hope you like the video that was uh, uh, an off beat kind of a video though it was related to your uh, syllabus i hope you like the video and uh, write me below what you think uh, whether you are uh, okay with the videos if you want to um, watch the video in both languages that means you want it to be bilingual thank you and don't forget to like share and subscribe bye